What's happening to society when we steal from, neglect? I think it's a bit heartbreaking. Or turn a blind eye to an elderly person in need? I just think the human race is going downhill. We'd like to think we're all basically good people and would help an elderly person in trouble, but we decided to put that to the test with an actor performing in a variety of scenarios and hidden cameras capturing what happened. Our actor for this report is 73-year-old Jennifer Andrew. Some people don't like to get involved. We begin our investigation with a money drop in a busy mall. Jennifer takes her purse from her bag and drops a $10 note, then wanders away. This man is walking towards Jennifer when the $10 falls from her purse. He picks it up and tries to get her attention to return the cash. Why did you do that? She could have just walked off without it. I don't think that is the right thing. But watch what happens when we increase the stakes and she loses a 50. This young girl starts to run after Jennifer to return the $50. But her friends encourage her to keep it, so she does. This is the selfishness that's happening now with the, all ages, and particularly young people. As Jennifer walks away from an ATM, the money lands in front of several people sitting on a bus bench. Our hidden camera captures the woman on the right slowly reaching down for the money. She hides it behind a piece of paper. Can you believe that of an older person? No, I think old people generally look after each other. The woman stays put for about 20 seconds before walking in Jennifer's direction. As she pauses near Jennifer, it appears she might hand over the money. But no, the brazen thief walks alongside her then continues on her way. Modelling agent June Daly Watkins is a vocal advocate for manners, etiquette and decency. The loss of kindness, courtesy, consideration and caring for other people is just disappearing. We then test those attributes by asking our actor to appear unwell in a public place. This woman looks and looks away as Jennifer falls against a sign and drops her bag. Several others pass by, even though Jennifer is visibly unwell. Yet another woman sees she's in trouble but keeps walking. I honestly am suddenly frightened that that sort of thing should happen to me. Finally, a couple goes to her aid. Oh, I don't know. Val French is from the Older People Speak Out group. People, it seems to me, have stopped caring. In the hour Jennifer spends on the roadside next to a broken down car, only a few people stop to help her. Did you get stuck, did you? Got a bit stuck, but I've run the RACQ. Many more drive on by. And I thought that, that she might have needed a hand because hardly anyone stops nowadays. Jennifer waits 20 minutes before a second motorist pulls up. Did you stop to help? Yep. As Jennifer paces backward and forward, car after car passes by. 35 minutes after the last driver checked on her, a concerned woman pulls up. After two days on our hidden camera investigation, Jennifer says she's less confident seniors have the respect of the younger generations. Some people are very caring and very quick to help, and others walk by on the other side. They'll become a bunch of zombies. 